Hi, welcome back. We are gonna be doing one of my favorite styles of videos today, and that's like fresh face makeup look. Uh, I really wanted to do this because I ordered a lot of Merit products on my birthday, my little birthday Sephora haul, and I just feel like that's the vibe. It's very quick, fresh, efficient. I've only used two of these Merit products, so a lot of these are gonna be kind of like first impression style. Um, now I have tried the foundation. This is the, I think it's called the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick, and I have mine in the shade Cream. This is actually a little bit more like matte than what I thought it was gonna be. It's a pretty, um, solid like satin matte finish. I used it yesterday and I didn't really find that I had to um, set my makeup after I used it but I will say it looks very skin like and I appreciate that about it. Very easy to apply. Is it just me or do I look tanner? Do I look tanner? I woke up today and I swear I feel like my skin tone is like two shades darker. I know when you're pregnant, um, your body's supposed to sometimes release more melanin, but I feel like I am just a, at least a shade darker than what I was yesterday. So this is final finish on the Merit Foundation Supernatural. It's not a super dewy product, so if you were worried about that, then um, I think you'll be good. I am applying Laura Mercier's new, this is their um, double-sided secret camouflage brightening duo. I think it's supposed to be the same as the one that comes in the compact. And I got mine in the shade 1N. I'm only gonna use the brightening side today. Um, and I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers. I'm actually gonna use a bit of my Golden Glow Bronzer slash blush from Daniel Sandler as my bronzer today. I just feel like when I pull this out, you know spring and summer is coming because for some reason I, I like tuck it away in the winter time. Um, and then when the weather starts getting warmer, pull that baby right back out. So this is a super cute product from Merit. It's this tiny little cream blush um, in the shade Mood. And it's kind of like a burgundy color. It's very unique. I thought the uh, bronzer that I used would also work really well with this shade. So this is what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand. I almost got the raspberry one. I can't remember what it was called, but I had it in my cart and it sold out. So I was just like, you know what? This guy right here looks interesting. I feel like this could also be a really good multi-purpose um, like blusher bronzer duo. Actually coming off a little bit more pink than what I thought it would. It's really creamy and seems to be blending into the skin nicely. Um, one thing I appreciate about it is it reminded me when I looked at it of the Milk Makeup uh, cream blushes. And I'm not super crazy about those. Love the Milk Makeup uh, cream bronzer. But the blush, or at least the ones I have, they come off really sheer and balmy. And um, sometimes I feel like they don't always like pick up pigment and stick to the skin. But this one um, seems to be doing that. Okay, I am gonna set um, with a little bit of Studio Fix powder because speaking of balmy, the next product I'm gonna use is pretty balmy and like dewy. It's the Merit Day Glow, it's their highlighter. And I'm not crazy about it, I'll just go ahead. It is one of the ones that I've tried. Reminds me a lot of the Nude Sticks. Um, they're highlighters and I don't know why, I just think they're really, balmy and almost like Vaseline like with very little payoff. So um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and set this area right here 
so I don't look overly greasy. Okay, so this is it. Looks gorgeous in the packaging. And some people like this style of highlighter, but not really me. I should have known. It's literally called a, a highlighting balm. And I got it in the shade Bounce. It's kind of like more of the pinkier one. But you can see it is just very balmy when I put it on the back of my hand. Whereas I like something that has a little bit more grip to it. Something that's not going to be as emollient, I guess. I don't know. If you're careful with it, it's not a big deal. But I could definitely see someone going to like swipe it on the face and then it just completely like melting everything away. All right, I've gotten a little bit closer because I'm excited to try this. It is the Merit Blonde Volumizing Pomade, and I'm just gonna try to use it as like my actual full on brow product today. I purchased it in blonde because I have a phobia <laughs> of brow pomades that just end up being too dark. So um, this had really good reviews. Let's see how it goes. It doesn't seem to be too wet, which I love in a good brown gel. Definitely on the drier side, which like I said, right up my alley. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Very pleased with the color. If I'm just using a brown gel like this, I don't want something super dark. Not even something that's necessarily as dark as my hair color because most of the time I'm going really light on my makeup anyways. Okay, very excited because number one, I'm using an eyeshadow palette today. And number two, this is an eyeshadow palette that I have been considering purchasing for like two years now. So you know it's been on my radar. Um, I just never really pulled the trigger because you know, I try to avoid shadow palettes. But finally, again, like I said, this was a little Sephora birthday haul. I just kind of bit the bullet. And it's the Dior Backstage eyeshadow palette. And this is the Cool Neutrals one. Oh. So pretty. Okay, since we are trying to keep things kind of quick, fresh today, I'm gonna work with probably this main row right here and just kind of do a little cool metallic eye situation. So I'm gonna start out with the mauve color. Then we're gonna take this color, it's called Shimmer Lilac. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not Super impressed with the um, shimmer shade in this palette. It is, um, hmm, it's a little lackluster. I feel like my eyes need something more, so I'm gonna take this shade right here. The matte shades are performing exceptionally well. I got a mini of one of the new Lancome mascaras. It is called 
um, the Adul Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara, and they sent the like little primer that they're notorious for. So I think I'm gonna try that out. So this is one coat, um, truly not too shabby. I feel like Lancome generally does a really good job with their mascaras. This one definitely has a wand that I normally don't go for, but it's, it's working good. To finish this off, I'm gonna use the Merit. Um, this is called the Tinted Lip Oil and I got it in the shade Sangria. I wanted to do a little dark moment, although I think these are supposed to be pretty sheer. Um, I think I will probably pop on a lip liner after I get this on, but we'll just see what it looks like by itself. Okay. I really like the way everything came out. Very polished, very, you know, kind of like a cross between daytime and nighttime chic. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these new products in action. Let me know if you've tried these Merit ones because so far so good on most of the things that I've tried. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.